All right, Patrice and Bruce, uh, thank you again for taking time with us today to discuss your hosting of the upcoming garden tour. So just wanted to ask you guys a few questions. Uh, first of all, how long have you been here? How long have you been gardening here? We bought this house in 2001. 2001, great. And so can you give us a brief history of maybe what it looked like? I know we've got some before and after boards to look at, but if you could kind of talk through how much work was involved uh, to, to really transform it to what we see today. Well, it was a complete transformation <laughs> of the yard. Uh, it, this area in the back was all asphalt with uh, asphalt driveway and- uh, this, this tree and this tree were here. Oh, okay. And a little bit of the bamboo and most, most everything else. You guys added. We did. So is there anything that's left other than the trees you just pointed out? I guess, what's your favorite item that, that's still left from the older days that, that you've retained? These trees I, right yeah, here? He, uh, I like the, the Norway spruce. He likes it. I, I like the old bark of the Pyreus. Is that what this is? It's just really, it's really old and it's got a really interesting bark. So this Oh is yeah, a, it's colorful. That's why it's, it's such a nice sort of spot, especially with the mountain. Oh, that's nice. So what are, what are your favorite components of the garden overall? Outside of those items, I mean. I probably, the, I love the hostess and the fern garden with the, with the maple when you come yeah. in. Yeah. Just, I, I'm from the Midwest and hostess brings me back um, to the Midwest and the peonies. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you see as some next steps in your garden? Maybe in a year, maybe five years? Subtle changes, major changes, anything well, out there? After the garden tour, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> every, every year it changes and we'll, there'll be, like I think this was last year, we sort of focused in on underneath here. The year before that was that area there. Every year it changes a little bit and it depends upon what what worked and what didn't. Yeah. And so, and things go from hanging baskets to pots to in the ground as they mm -hmm. get bigger, you know, mm -hmm. some of them. So it's, it's a, it's a, it just evolves. Yeah, we did the pool shed during COVID. That was our, we did the, um, recited that. So yeah, COVID sort of, you know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> kept Forced us home change. more and, you know, yeah. kept us focused in the garden more. So, right. yeah. What type of advice might you give to somebody who is new at gardening? Just starting out with something that maybe you encountered when you first moved in, for example. What type of advice or have to haves, tools? Start, I think uh, start small. You know, I, I think sometimes our plans got away from us, mm -hmm. you know, and just so just to, you know, just maybe focus on one area and live with it and see what the, what's the sunny area and what's the shady area. Yeah. And then read the labels, which we don't <laughs> always do. <laughs> but we, we weren't gardeners before, really. I mean, we still don't know that much about gardening gardening but right. when you just get out there and give it a shot and see what see what works yeah. what are your favorite tools what do you have to have i love the little um scuffle hole it just in a few minutes i can take a bed and just scuffle it all up and make it look oh wow you know, it, fill, it, it rips up the weeds and stuff but it makes the garden look like new oh cool so, i have a little uh, small Fiskers yes. lopper. <laughs> yes. you know, I, I, I just got that this year. I've always had the big loppers. Uh -huh. so just like little loppers. And I was like, oh, oh have I missed these. Right, you know? right. I can snip everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would like to get a little handheld chainsaw. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be great. They're, they're scary. <laughs> well, what convinced you to be a host this year? Uh, members of the, the committee. Yeah. They, <laughs> Coercion. Uh, yeah. Persuasion, rather. <laughs> well, we've always, we've done the tour for years. Um, and so, uh, it's like, well, we could do that. And then yeah. they reached out to us and I was like, okay, now we can. So. Great. Yeah. Any objectives that you're hoping to achieve? Any messages you're hoping to communicate to the community? Oh, welcome. You know, just it, anybody can do it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good advice. Yeah, because I think sometimes, you know, I mean, I think that's what Edmonds and Bloom does a nice job of. They give a mix of, you know, the, the more elaborate gardens and then the smaller right. gardens. And I think, you know, I think ours is a smaller garden and, you know, hopefully, you know, encourage others to try it. 
That's great. That's great. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> no? no look, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. As are we. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.